Hello everyone. My name is Laura and I'm from the Queen of Mirth. Today I'm going to be making some backgrounds on pages for junk journals. I, I don't have a particular junk journal in mind as I do this, but I like to have pages ready so that when I am working on a project, I have a lot of choices and things are already done so the book will be put together much more quickly. Anyway, um, I made some yesterday off camera. I thought I would just show you, show them to you. This one's not finished, so why don't we just put it here? And this is how the ones from yesterday came out. And they're all, they're all different. And I think some of them bring me real joy. So, and this is uh, one of those kinds of I don't know what you'd call it, it's not vellum. It's what is in an old photo album between the pages. And it's, it's quite transparent. So these are just the pages, the pages from yesterday. And then this is just a piece of paper that I had been sketching, I was, trying to sketch a wolf and so just on a scrap piece of paper so I put that in rather than toss it and then these are just things that have like I order frozen meals sometimes and this is something they sent me and then this is a Jane Davenport stamp and a piece of three hole graph paper and I just want to do this really quickly. So this has a lot of gold on it. That's stenciled. And it went through to the other side, which is kind of nice. Here, here. So that's, that's what I did yesterday. And I'm pretty happy with them, actually. I think they'll be very useful. So this one, I started, I guess I started it, but didn't finish. So I, I may as well do that one first. And I'm just going to go to town on these things. This, these are, this is a tempera paint stick king art that I got on Zulily. And I'm just gonna do some squiggly things on it. I love that blue actually. Oh, and the other thing is the ones I did yesterday didn't have any particular color in mind or plan like that. And I think that today I will be probably focusing a little more on color, at least on some of them. Um, okay, this is watercolor. And I like to have the stack of papers I'm going to be working on. I like to have it underneath my work because then they get little um, kind of accidental splotches and spatters and whatnot. And it makes those pages more interesting. At least I think so. In fact, I know so. So there. That's it's kind of important to me to have a real mixed media pages and I'm going to try and cover up it says province of British Columbia and all that um, which is where I live I live in Vancouver yeah I like the watercolor backgrounds too. And you know, not to have the, I, this is my coffee for coffee dyeing right here in this container. And I will be, and I do use it a lot. It, all it is is instant coffee, very uh, concentrated instant coffee. I just make it in this container, keep it in my refrigerator. 
until it's gone and then I just make some more and I use inexpensive instant coffee. So, anyway. And these pages will be, they're like backgrounds that I'm making, backgrounds for the pages in the junk journals that, I, that I'll put together. And because, you know, eventually it'll just be folded over like so. And usually. And um, put together. So here we are. See, I got this on here from just working on other pages. I like that. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see. And oh, and then when it when that watercolor dries, I do some more things with it. So here we'll do the copy. And this is just a piece of photocopy paper that was kind of bent or something. And the, this brown paper underneath me, underneath my work, is um, it's from packaging material. It came in a, some kind of thing I got on Amazon or some someplace. And it was all scrunched up in, in the parcel. So I just made it kind of flat and I'm using it and I'll be making it interesting as well for some future project. Now, I'm going to just scrunch this up a little bit and stick it stick it right into the coffee so the corner will be darker you have to be gentle with it though so the paper doesn't tear because it's wet Yesterday was such a hot day when I was doing this. The papers were drying so quickly. It was great. But today isn't so. I just have to lay these out wherever I can. Now this is a piece of paper I got from a grocery order. I order my groceries um, online. And they deliver and then of course they have to have a list of what's in my order so that's what I'm using for these pages now I'm gonna clean my brush and get some beautiful opalescent watercolor There's a lot of water on the brush because I don't want it to be dark, really. I just want the background to be a little purple. shiny things. I love opalescent and glitter and oh, all, all of it. Gold. Wonderful. We're so lucky we have such amazing art supplies and they don't have to be really expensive either. And we can make a lot of our own. 
it's just pretty cool. I'm going to do a little spray inking. There's a blue and kind of a charcoal. I'm looking for the lighter colors. I have a lot. In Very light. Uh, this is a yellow. Oh, and I found some nail polish. Yeah, the nail polish is good. I like using nail polish because it basically, um, it will, um, it will adhere to really, really shiny surfaces, like, or your fingernails, it, you know, it, and it, it's hard to get off. I really, I really like it. It's nice and thick too. Now, let's see, how about we keep, Now, this is from Tattered Angels. I got a set of 12 of these called um, Glimmer Mist, and it's awesome. It has mica powder in it, I think. That's what they use to make it so shiny and glimmery. It's lovely. So here we are. This one is from the government. Oh, it's a form. It's a government form for something or other. And it's ripped. And this is perforated here, along here. So I'm going to see if I, if I have some scotch tape here. Yes, I do. So I'm going to basically repair the rip. this way with this kind of invisible scotch tape and then I'm going to strengthen along where it's perforated because I don't want it to rip. Now I've made a wrinkle in the tape which I don't mind at all. I'm not looking for perfection, as you can see. Let's go down there. Any other perforations right along this line. So I'm basically going to just um, put the tape there. And it's wrinkled again. I kind of like that, actually. It's going to make the page quite unique because when I put the paint and, put, and coffee and everything on it, it will not, um, I think you'll still be able to see whatever it is that the government wrote, but we'll see. We'll see how it works. Let's have a look.
Okay, I've got coffee all over it. Now, how about... This is um, uh, Neo Colors by Karan Dash. And I just am dipping it in water because they're water soluble. Today is Canada Day. Now here I'm kind of decorating or repurposing a Canada government form, which I guess is appropriate for today. It's our, it's the day we celebrate, you know, Canadian Confederation and our beautiful country. It's kind of it, yeah, it's a, it's a great day. Nobody has, it's a statutory holiday, so most people don't have to work. And if they do, they get paid extra for working on the holiday. So, um, into the greens again. And the blue. Did you hear that? That's Leroy. He's, he's, in, he's six months old now. And he had, he's in charge of home security. And somebody must be walking near our door or something like that. And he's just letting me know. Doing his job. He, he can't help it. It's his, his nature to be a security guy. I love that guy so much. Now maybe, let's see what would happen if I just do the blotch thing. Yeah, I like that. I like that sort of thing. We can do the drip down thing. Okay, Leroy, thank you. Thanks for letting us know. Okay, here we are. Um, maybe it could use a little spray. This one's blue. I actually love this glimmer mist because I don't know if you can really see it on on you know on your monitor or however you're watching this, but it is so glimmery and shiny. It's amazing. I love it. And I use these things quite a bit. I don't really want to get it on the, on the, um, where the tape is. Cause I like the, that the tape has made everything pure white. So I'm just gonna do a bit of the glimmer mist like this and mask it out, kind of. Now, I'm gonna run it down again, this way, maybe this way. Which will make it dry faster and and it helps the paper. The paper gets so wet. It's very stressful for it, I think. Okay.
Okay, this is it for this one for now. Now this is just a piece of regular photocopy paper. And I think I'll do a pastel sort of thing. seem to be drawn to the pink. And these are the opalescent paints. I, I don't know, I got it, I got this whole little tray of paints. I don't know what they're called because I took the lid away. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't say anywhere. But um, I got them at Michael's and they're very inexpensive. They're like, I don't know what, but they're at really low price and they're quite nice. And it's, it has that beautiful opalescent effect. Let's see, how about, isn't that, See, that's kind of a green, so I think I'll do that. That doesn't look green on here, but it's nice. I didn't want purple. Here's one. This one is iridescent silver. Okay, that's calling my name. Yes, yes, yes. I love this one. You know, that's kind of dreamy. I like it so much. It needs something right there. little Leroy. He's sleeping at my feet right now. <laughs> He's such a wonderful little companion for me. Makes me so happy to have a dog. I miss my former dog, Louie. His name was Louis Armstrong. And he was white. He was a multi-poo. But Leroy is a hundred percent different from Louie, like in personality. And I think that's good. It's like, you know, kids, they can be so different, even twins. I have a niece and a nephew who are twins and you couldn't find two more different people. Both wonderful, but in their own ways. Okay, this is the, this is one of those 
those um, page, pages that protects photos, you know, in a nice photo album. It was between the pages, but I'm getting rid of all the, almost all of my large photo albums. They're huge, they're heavy, and they, um, I, I just don't need them. Taking the photos out of them and giving, and I'm making junk journals for family members with photos that I think they would love. And I'm asking my children if there are any that they want. And I'm trying to, I'm just trying to scale it all down. So I have a beautiful box that I have all the photos or most of the photos in. It's a big box, you can imagine. And we'll see what happens. But I like to, now I'm incorporating fo these photos into my art by putting them in the junk journals that I'm making, or some of them into the junk journals that I'm making. And it's fun. It, yeah, it, it's fun to use those. What do you think? I think that's pretty cool. Let's bring that down a bit more. Well, look what it's doing. It's going like that. Yeah. So, yeah, this one is going to remain kind of transparent, but not 100%. No, this is one that I just did, but it's it's pretty much dry. See, it's 99%, 95% dry. So I'm going to do the other side because these have to be done on both sides. Maybe before that, I'll do a tiny bit of stamping on here because it's dry enough for that. Um, and this is... Um, this is ranger archival ink and i'm using it because it's what it won't um you know it won't dissolve into the water into the, when it gets wet it can withstand the the water and the paints and everything so i have a few i, I brought out a few of my stamps for today and i have these ones with different keys. It's a set that I got a long, long time ago. I did a lot of rubber stamping in my day. So, let's see, here's another one. Now, let's see if it went through. No, they're not. That's great. Okay. And on this side, I think I'll do a little music. I'll have some melody going on here. Now I can do this side. I'm first going to have a drink. I'm. This is ice with half, um, half blueberry juice, 
and half period. It's a really nice string. I think it was th three days ago here in Vancouver, we had the hottest day in recorded history. It was so hot. I wanted to make a video, I just couldn't, it was boiling. Um, we're just not used to that here because we live in a rainforest, actually. Anyway, it was hot, let me tell you. Today, and yesterday was really hot. The day before, the day before yesterday was super hot. And I couldn't even sleep in my bedroom. My, we live in a two bedroom townhouse, my grandson and I, and the bedrooms are upstairs. And it was so hot in my room that I couldn't sleep. So I moved downstairs and slept on, on the sofa even last night, but I think that I'll be able to sleep back in my bed tonight. So, anyway, who likes blue? I, obviously I do. So. Should we put some coffee over here? Mm, maybe some green. that goes like. You know, I keep using this particular green and it doesn't look that great in my humble opinion. Let's see what this color is. I think that's nice. Yeah, I think I like the blues and greens together at the moment. Not, I don't mean for everything and all that, but I think I could use, um, I could make a junk journal out of these if they're green and blue or purple and green. Like that's more of a purple. And I love purple and green together. Love it. So we'll just see. Let's put a bit of green. These are beautiful. They're nicely pigmented. They're, in my in my opinion, they're the best of all of the watercolor crayons. It's so fun. It's just so fun. And you know, I think junk journaling is so liberating. Um, there's really not a single rule. And you could just transform the things that were going to be trashed away, thrown away, and you can just transform them into beautiful books that are become a kind of a treasure. So beautiful. How about some of this stuff? Now, the last page, I used that silver, and I think I'm gonna go with silver too. Because I do want a few pages that kind of go together. So, what do you think of this? a bit of a frame or something. Is that the, I think this is maybe the center of the page, I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna make a frame. Yeah, 
And what I'm actually doing is making the back, I, I said that in the beginning, I think, but making the backgrounds for, a jour for journals. And yeah. So that's, this one, I don't know. I don't know. I wonder what, what does it look like with, I want to try and make them a little more coordinated, the two pages, but that's a challenge in itself, because the, this is quite red, and this is blue and green, and I prefer the blue and green, frankly. Let's see what happens. It's not too happy you know, red and green are opposite colors, and when you mix them together, you don't get a good color unless you're looking for something that's kind of brownish, dark, and that sort of thing. Look at this. This was the one. Well, if I don't like this page when I make the journal, it doesn't really matter because I can cover the, cover up anything I don't like with pockets and envelopes and tuck spots, all kinds of things. So it will all be beautiful. It will be so beautiful. But let's put a little silver paint in here. Okay. Just this. I just keep these upside down because it's hard to stir them. I don't really like these very much. I, it, they're by Sargent and they're, they're nicely, um, what do you call it? I mean, the, the, they're, they're nice paints in that they are full of pigment and they do work really well. However, and they're kind of a watercolor, but what I don't like is that you can't take these little bottles out of this thing. So to shake the paint, you have to shake all of them and you have to have, all, like I couldn't take the silver out and just deal with that. I have to have the whole thing all the time. So, I, and it gets hard to, shake them and and that sort of thing so i do keep these upside down so that it's easier to get the real silver metallic part to the top okay let's see how we're doing here i'm going to put this to dry Now, what do we have here? We have a big 12, it's pretty much 12 by 12. It's a page from a photo album. Like I said, I'm taking my photo albums apart and I'm dealing with the photos differently. They're just too heavy and too big. I don't have the space for them. I started these things in the 1970s and it's, it's just too much to be carrying them around. The you know, forever. So, um, but the paper's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like some kind of nice watercolor paper almost. And I'm really happy to have it. So right now, I don't know what's on there. I'm going to do the coffee thing on this one. So what I have is just a stack of different paper that I can incorporate into junk journals, one way or another. 
and having all different kinds of paper is great because obviously it makes for an interesting junk journal. And this one is great. At the end of the day, they'll all be wrinkled up from being so wet. And I just put them under a stack of books for the night after they're really dry. Put them under a stack of books, works perfectly. In the morning, they're nice and flat. And I did that last night. And I'm pretty happy. Oh, I'm, I'm really happy with the ones I did yesterday. And I know I'll be happy with the ones that I'm doing right now. English Ivy and it's again once again it's the tattered angels glimmer mist that I really 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 love it's awesome you have to shake it quite a bit though another blue I see. This one is called Dragonfly. Well, if it looks like a dragonfly's wing, that will be amazing. That's pretty. It's like a teal. so happy. <laughs> I just love it when something becomes so beautiful. I don't know if you can see the glimmering in it, um, but if you can, take a look. It's just lovely. Let's try it. It's, it this is kind of semi-dry. I'm going to just try a stamp and see what happens. don't see why it won't work because this particular ink is um, this this particular ink is waterproof <laughs> this is funny uh, I can't believe I did this but I mounted this stamp myself it was a it was an unmounted stamp that I bought a long time ago and it's words obviously. And what I did was I put the, I put the, um, the picture or the image upside down. So I, when I stamp it, I always have to remember with this one that I have to turn it around and, and stamp it upside down and then it will come out properly. It says, love is the master key that unlocks the gates of happiness. Well, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Upside down, right side up. It's funny. Now, this one is also words, but I got this one properly done. It was just that one. I guess I wasn't paying attention.
be a little more music. I love um, using music. This is a really useful rubber stamp. It goes with everything. And I have another one with words. It's a, it's a ticket and it's um, French. I love it. I've had this one for many years. Now that didn't stamp properly because I've got this underneath and it's all uneven, but it's okay. I'm good with it. There. No. This still isn't dry really, but it, the stamps work perfectly well when it's it was like 70% dry, something like that. This is wonderful paper. I do, if, if you're gonna get rid of um, things like photo albums, do use the paper because they can be, it can be just gorgeous. Now here we have um, some vintage what do you call it? Vintage book pages. And I'm not going to do a lot on them, but I only do a little bit. Well, I want, sorry, I want to go with my green and blue thing. would work really well here. This is blue. I just shake it until the the mica powder that is it settles at the bottom. I just shake it until it's not at the bottom anymore. I'm holding this like this because there's a lot of wet paint on it that I'm going to use, but I have to put these aside first of all. Now, the, this is a piece of just regular photocopy paper, so I'm just going to set this on top of it. Like it's coming right through. And remember, this is a glimmery um, mist spray. I love it. There, see? My goodness. Is that beautiful or what? I'll put a little silver. Oh my goodness. 
goodness. This is so happy. I am so, this is like the, it brings forth happiness in my heart. That's all I can say. It's so pretty. Like, I mean, the book will be so gorgeous when this is finally used in a junk journal. Oh my goodness. It's just nice. And then the other side is like this because it went, the paper, it, the ink went right through. Wow. It doesn't take a whole lot to make me really happy, but this is great. This is good stuff. I'm gonna try and get the ink off of the stencil here. And see, it, yeah, the, I got the ink off of it. Oh, life is so beautiful. Life is so good. I'm so grateful for all of this. Here. And this obviously is just a piece of um, an exercise book. The back, like the exercise book had things in it, but it wasn't being used anymore. And there's there are pages at the back that you could, I can just use. So that's where that's, that's what that's all about. No. Oh, here's a green nail polish. And it's shimmery and I had a box of nail polishes around. I'm going to use it here just to make some circles on whatever's behind here. Oh, they're not that great but it'll be interesting. Oh, just a bit of nail polish down here. It's almost the same color as this. Interesting. But it sparkles. It's got sparkles in it. Lovely. Now, I always like the way this looks. These things look when they, um, when they're sprayed and what happens underneath is good. So, um, I think I'll do a glue. Okay, see, look at that, isn't that cool? This one, I'm going to do this. Just to get rid of some of that ink. Maybe some watercolor. Getting the same color, whatever I do. This is a bit different. I think there's just too much water in it, but that's okay. That's okay. This is actually lined paper, so if things are kind of light and you can see through it, then people, whoever will be able to actually use it for journaling and writing on the, this page.
for the other side. Yeah. I think I'm going to wait for this to dry before I do the other side. So this is all I'm going to do for today. I think the video is quite long and I try to make them short, but it's difficult to do that. Um, I want to thank you so much for being with me today. It means a lot to me. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and do enter my giveaway. I have one every month and all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like the video, whichever one you're watching, just do the like button if you like it and make a comment and in the comment use the word giveaway and the comment can be you know whatever you think but do use the word giveaway somehow in fact you can just use the word giveaway and have a one word comment but I, I'd love it if you would comment on the video itself in some way anyway um, I, I have the, like I've told you about the prize and everything in the comment box or in sorry in the description box below and I really hope that you do enter the giveaway that you would re if you're you know if you if you're selected and it's a draw and if your name is drawn you will receive anything you want from my Etsy store and the link to the Etsy store is also in the description box. And I have, I don't know, way over, or a little bit over 400 items that I've designed myself. And there are all kinds of things from um, journaling kits to um, creative packs and just all different kinds of things. And I think that there's something that you might like if you you know if you're watching these kinds of videos you might like something that's in the store and you'd be able to have whichever item you choose anyway thank you again for being here with me i am really happy to be able to make these videos and to share my you know my work with people it means a great deal to me Anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.